What's going on guys? In this video we're discussing Jean and my top 7 reasons why you should build and play this character. Maybe Jean constantly haunts your summons, or maybe you love Jean and use her as much as I do and just need more Jean content in your life. Either way, Jean hasn't gotten nearly enough love on this channel, being my most wanted character when Genshin released, and probably the only stable character in my team compositions. Jean fits into basically every team in Genshin Impact and brings utility, damage, and some of the most unique gameplay in the game. So let's not keep Jean waiting and get straight into it. In my opinion, Jean is the best standard banner 5 star character to build. While DPS characters like Deluc and Kanshing are easily power crept and Chi Chi has fallen hard out of the meta, the power supports Mona and Jean have managed to stay very relevant. Because Jean is on the standard banner, getting constellations is possible and likely for most free to play players, and Jean has some very powerful constellations that almost exclusively aid in her support potential and unlock new gameplay mechanics. While C1 increases her already hard hitting elemental skill damage by 40%, C2 will allow her and everyone on your team to maintain 100% uptime on a 15% increase in attack and movement speed. We saw how powerful this is on Eula, but it is also a significant DPS boost to any main DPS character. Her C4 decreases animo resistance by 40%, allowing characters like Venti and Xiao to do significantly more DPS, while her C6 provides significant damage mitigation and can remove the need for a dedicated shielder. That said, Jean is 100% viable at Constellation 0, and if you never get a Constellation, she will be able to make use of her entire kit. We can't discuss Jean without discussing the Yeet. Not only does Jean's elemental skill have an insane damage scaling of 467% at only talent level 8, it can also swirl and is on a very short 6 second cooldown. I'm not gonna lie, in early game I didn't fully appreciate this ability because if used incorrectly it feels like a loss in DPS because you're launching enemies away. Her elemental skill can be tapped for a quick animo burst damage attack or can be used to suck enemies in and allows you to aim and release them in any direction. The grouping ability of this is OP in two ways. First, in abyss stages with a small number of enemies spread across the stage, you can launch enemies across the room and stun them long enough to allow you to run to them and do AoE damage with your other team members. Additionally, by holding the skill down, Jean can group many enemies before launching them, which is critical for fast clear times. These enemies stay clustered when hitting the ground and are stunned long enough to perform other skills or even perform Jean's skill again. Fall damage also becomes much better in more difficult content as the amount of fall damage scales with the HP of enemies. In these clips taken on floor 12 too, you can see that the Cryo Sisson Mage takes anywhere between 71,000 and a whopping 117,000 damage depending if Sucrose's burst is present. This doesn't depend on Jean stats in any way, the only caveat is that Jean must be within 20 levels of an enemy to be able to launch them. On top of the yeet, Jean's charge attack also provides knockup and stun that can floor even the largest of enemies, preventing them from shielding up and keeping you alive and doing more damage. Do you suck at dodging? Is your team underleveled? Or are you just in a really tough fight? Well then Jean's got your back. Her kit has nearly infinite self-sustain. My Jean is built for damage with an attack sans, animo damage goblet, and crit circlet, and her ult has a burst healing of 13,000 and additional on-field healing of 1.3,000 that ticks a total of 9 times. On top of this, for every normal attack, Jean has a 50% chance to heal for 15% of Jean's attack, which for me is about 350 HP. If you're ever in a situation where someone on your team is about to die but you don't have Jean's ult back, your main DPS is dead, or you just want some healing while doing damage, Jean is extremely useful. She actually carried me for when I increased my world level at AR45 and had a poorly built account. Although Jean wasn't buffed as much as other animo units such as Venti and Sucrose with the patch 1.6 transformative reaction buff, Jean was still buffed nonetheless. Her elemental skill and burst can both swirl for additional damage. With less than 200 elemental mastery and without any enemy resistance shred, this adds over 1000 damage to every elemental skill, which for me increases to over 3000 with some minor buffs. Jean's burst only applies animo damage upon casting or when enemies enter or exit the dandelion field, but can proc swirl reactions throughout its duration. Because of this, Jean is one of the best characters for destroying Abyss Mage and those annoying Abyss Lecter and Abyss Herald shields. When there are multiple Abyss Mages with different element types in her burst AoE, she can immediately shred one or more of the shields with the swirl reaction. This is because shields give enemies a constant elemental debuff, and shields are weak to all other element types. 
Not only will her burst swirl enemy debuffs upon casting or when enemies enter or exit the field, it will also imbue Jean or your active character with Animo and swirl any debuff present on them. This is the basis of the Sunfire comp with Bennett and Jean. Bennett's burst continuously imbues you with Pyro, while Jean's burst continuously imbues you with Animo, therefore swirling Pyro to enemies within her AoE. This is possibly the fastest and easiest way to take out the Abyss Lector and Abyss Herald shields. Jean is arguably currently the best cleanser in the game because Animo is the only element that can cleanse every debuff currently present. As we just discussed, Jean's burst applies Animo to you every one second for a total of nine times and is therefore extremely useful for cleansing the terribly annoying leyline disorders like slowing water and engulfing storm that make clearing Abyss Floor 11 much more painful. Jean's burst can also cleanse Azdaha's elemental mark with a couple of Animo applications and maybe save you from suffering one more fight with the giant toad. Overall, Jean is an easy and flexible character to build because she has so many useful parts of her kit. In early game, Jean can serve just as your healer, and that can be more than enough. As you approach, or are in late game, with high investment, Jean can be a potent sub-DPS and healer, purely built for animo damage. Because her healing is so potent, and her ascension stat is healing bonus, you don't really need to build Jean with any healing in mind, and it is really only a waste of her full potential. Being an Animo unit, Jean can also be built with the four-piece Veritas and Venerer set for resistance shred for your other party members, although I've never gotten a full four-piece set that I'm happy with, so I still personally use a two-piece Glad and two-piece Veritas and Venerer, as I prefer Jean to do the damage herself. If you're less concerned about Jean's damage, you can run a four-piece Veritas and Venerer set with a focus on attack and energy recharge, and let her heal and buff your team, even if your substats aren't fully optimized. Finally, since fall damage does not scale with Jean's stats outside of her level, to take on the most difficult enemies on floor 12, she really only needs to be brought to level 80, and you can leave her talents at 1, and run with no artifacts, and still hit 117k like I did earlier in this video. That's all I got for you guys today. If you guys found this video helpful and informative, please leave a like and consider subscribing down below. I put out Genshin Impact videos just like this one every single week. I'll see you guys very soon for the next video. Peace.